like math. I'm your host, Mr. Silva. The whole school has been wanting to know how big Mr. Alvarado's head is. In order to do that, you first have to know the circumference of a circle. The formula for the circumference of a circle is C for circumference equals 2 pi r, where pi is just a constant and r is the radius. Just a little review. Radius is the distance from the center of a circle to the edge. Let's use that formula for the examples below. What is the circumference of a circle A with a radius of 3? All you have to do is substitute everything you know and then calculate. So C we don't know equals 2. We're going to use 3.14 for pi and we're given the radius as 3. I just substituted everything I know. Now I'll simplify. 2 times 3.14 times 3 is just 18.84, which is my circumference. For the example to the right, what is the circumference of circle B below? Remember, you need a radius in the formula to find the circumference of a circle. In circle B, we're given a diameter of 11. Well, if you didn't know, the radius is just half of the diameter, so the radius is 5.5. Now all we have to do is substitute all our known information. So C equals 2. We're using 3.14 for pi times my radius, which is 5.5. Simplify from here, and you get the circumference. C equals 34.54. Now that you know how to use the circumference of a circle, let's apply that to Mr. Alvarado's head. Mr. Alvarado's head is so big that students are getting distracted in the hallways. Oh my god, Becky, look at that forehead. It's so big. It's not a forehead, it's a five head. His head is so big. That when we go outside, I can't even find my car. Where is this? What? What happened to the sun? Alvarado, get back in here! In order to find the conference, I need to find the radius to Mr. Alvarado's head. Mr. Silver, I need a ruler. Here, catch. No, I need a bigger one. In example two, the circumference of Mr. Alvarado's head is 25.5 inches. What is the radius? This time we're given different information to use in the formula. C we are given as 25.5, we're going to plug that in, equals 2 times pi, 3.14. And this time, we don't know what the radius is, so we're going to leave it as R. Simplify from here, 25.5 equals 2 times 3.14 is just 6.28 times my radius. It's a single step equation from here. All you have to do is divide 6.28 on both sides and I got 4.06 which I rounded to the nearest hundredths equals my radius. Now that you know how to use the circumference formula please pause the video and try these problems on your own. When you have finished I'll provide you with the answers so you can check your work. For the first example, find the circumference of circle F if its diameter is 7. We need a radius for the first example, so if the diameter is 7, then the radius is 3.5. Calculate it from there and you get 21.98. For the example to the right, the circumference is given to you now we have to find the radius. Substitute everything you know. Circumference is 40. Set it equal to 2 times 3.14. Solve for R from there. And you should get 6.37 as your radius. Hopefully you know how to use the circumference formula by now. And please, subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons. How do you like your new haircut? I wish I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I